guys, crew of Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Aaron. We're back with Westworld. Oh. Last time on Westworld. Yes! Shogun. Shogun. Shogun World. <laughs> that place doesn't exist, Shane. It's a, it's a myth. It's a mythos. <laughs> uh, yeah, that happened. Uh, we had um, Raj World is what they call it. Raj World. Which is the Indian world. Not to confuse with the Native American Indians. When they call that? Um, sometime. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes they call it a Raj world. Okay. Um, I don't remember them ever saying those words, but yep. okay. Yeah, we miss a lot when we react. Uh, so we had um, so we had some Ghost Nation stuff going on too. They ended up taking that lady who we don't know who she is um, from Raj world, uh, and they also defied the admin powers yep. of Maeve. So what's going on with them? We don't know yet. I saw someone mention something that was kind of neat, where it's like, could they have some kind of programming where they protect? Humans. Mm. And I was like, that could be neat. They're, they're like a, like a firewall <laughs> or something. You know what I mean? Like, like if they're different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's some kind of thing in their programming that maybe they protect humans. That's why they went and got a, what's his name? Stubbs. Is that it? Stubbs. 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 Hey, Stubbs. Like, hey, Stubbs. Like that's why they went and got him, and he's okay later on. Yeah. And hmm. like they're that. We why, still don't know what happened there. That's why they wanted um. Uh, fucking the writer dude, what's his name? Ghost Nation. Remember, they wanted just uh, him. Yeah, that's all they wanted though. Uh, they could go. What's his name? Littlefinger. No. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Something like that though. H hard. Hard. What? <laughs> Hardwood. I forget. I should have a list in front of me. But yeah, he looks, he looks like a pony man. <laughs> Sizemore. That's small. There we go. Man. Lee Sizemore. Yeah, I told you there's a penis joke in there somewhere. Yep. But anyway, like. After I saw someone said, like, could they be there to protect humans? I'm like, well, yeah. that could make sense because I was thinking about that and that. And, like, there's different iterations of them, like, not hurting yeah. people. It could be interesting. So, But I don't know. Or they could just have some kind of other. They got to have something kind of weird. I mean, the hosts were, were supposed to not hurt people in general. Yeah. Maybe, like, Ford in this new thing that he's done by releasing or turning the host on them also put <coughs> the, he put, like, a checks and balances in there with the Ghost Nation. That, that's a good idea. But I don't know, they're still by themselves most of the time. Yeah. Someone was saying that, uh... Like, they stormed in and killed everybody in the main area. Well, someone was saying that in episode two of this season, when uh, they had Logan attend that little meeting thing, there was uh, there was the really hot chick that greets you at Westworld. She was a host. And then there was another guy, and he was a host, too. And that guy was one of the Ghost Nation people. She was hot. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we have, though? We had the uh, attack on Fort Forlorn Hope, which, uh... Didn't go well for the army men. The yeah, not for them, but it went well for, uh, you know, everyone else. Well, uh, Dolores is not very happy because Abernathy was taken. Mm -hmm. However, we think that Abernathy's, like, data thing might have switched over to Bernard. We don't know. It's and possible. James Marsters let those people, let that one dude go. Let yes, a couple of those did. guys. Teddy. They, they let a few of those guys good go. Good old Teddy. Yeah. yeah. I like Teddy. Teddy Bear. Teddy's solid. a good man. She's like, Theodore. You go behind a wagon or something. Yeah. That shoot. Yeah. That motherfucker cheating on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else, man? There's a lot in the show. Uh, um, we know that, uh, what's her name's fine? The chick from Thor? Claire? No. C. C. Hale? C. Now Port Charlotte. Now Portman. What? Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah. Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah. Chick from Thor. Yeah. Not, not, yeah, not Natalie Portman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we know that she's okay because we didn't, we weren't sure if she was alive. Yeah, she or dead. left fucking she Bernard there, right. left his ass. Like, well, oh, she left with Abernathy. Oh, Aber you actually survived. Yeah, she left with Abernathy from the fort, but then two weeks later, she's asking Bernard, where's Who's Abernathy? Abernathy? Yep. So, mm. Mm, man, stuff's happening. Stuff's happening. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Except the poll. There was a poll. Nope. Which says, yep. who do you think the new female character introduced in this episode could be? Okay, I said related to Man Black. Well, we had 4% say a host. Okay. 8% 4%. say young Teresa. Okay. 37% say something else, and 49% say man in black. Hmm. Wait, man in black? Yeah, she's the man in black. No, that is not what it said. Yeah, remember remember in Men in Black when Will Smith like got the, the coroner chick, right? She was a man in black. You know what? Like a little cricket. I wish there was a fourth movie. It could be. There is. It's going to be like a reboot type deal. Oh. I think. It was like a, it was like a 21 Jump Street cross. Did you hear that they, they swapped out who's Riggs and Lethal Weapon? It's going to be Sean William Scott? Yep. Maybe. I was like, oh, I might have to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't watch it That's because the other guy got fired for being such an asshole. Uh, Luke says she could be the man in black's daughter all grown up. After all, we saw her last episode as a kid. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, AB says if not William's daughter, then just a new character. I thought young Teresa at first, too. But that doesn't really make sense because her story seems to be happening 
after the hosts went rogue. Yeah. German said she's the weapon that the Men in Black is talking about. He made a copy of his daughter, just like Ford did, with himself in season one. Hmm. That's interesting, but I'm going to say no! No, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. His weapon was in the park, right? It wasn't in another park? I mean, it could have been in another park, I guess, too. I don't know. She didn't seem very weaponry. Weapony. Yeah, the tiger's more of a weapon, man. She should have gotten. Josh says she's like Neo from The Matrix. She's the chosen one. She's the one. They put J.K. I have no clue. He's beating the <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see if there's anything weird. Oh, Kaylee says, I think she's either the daughter of William or the daughter of Teresa. And she's there to find out what happened to her mom. Okay. Hmm. William, huh? The man black. The one that Bernard killed. I don't know if Teresa had any kids. And then Alexander says, my theory is that she is the host that Ford was making to the end of last season based off young Teresa. Yeah. The way she held her smoke... And the way she talked and even her voice sounded a little bit like Teresa. I also think she's needed for Billy's game Ford made for him. I don't know mm. why Ford would do something like that, but that's my theory. Yeah, what would be the need, if he was going to make a Teresa that he had killed, why make her a young version of herself and not just like a regular version and replace her? Maybe that she needs something more than just replacing. I don't know. I still don't think it's a pass in the timeline. It has to be a past timeline if you made a host look like a young yeah. person. Um, and Timmy, Toby, Timmy, Toby. Timmy, Toby. I feel she's going to be the story to show us what the Ghost Nation is doing with humans. <laughs> she also could be the Man in Black's daughter or a reporter who's been trying to bring down uh, Delos with Logan's help. Hmm. And as Dean says, I'd say she's Ford's daughter. She has found one of the old diaries, a la Henry Jones Jr., and is going in to find out what has happened to her father. She said she was hunting for something. Does Ford have any kids? I don't know. Oh, I Does he not have any kids? Mm-hmm. Hasn't said specifically if he has or hasn't. I don't remember so last fault season. to know. I don't remember last season never hearing anything about kids, but we, we heard last season about William having a kid, right? Was well, it last season? Yeah, we, yeah. About uh, Men in Black, and mm-hmm. then we heard about Bernard or Arnold. Charlie. Having a kid. Yeah. And then Bernard wasn't having kids. I don't know about any other kids besides those. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. No a lot of kids in this show. They go have kids. I mean, there could be plenty unless of kids. Unless he can't have kids. I mean, as old as Ford was, you don't think he had any kids? No. None. Nope. Nothing. Not one. Successful. Well, no, I'm sorry. Successful yeah, businessmen, ha- yeah, on average, have more kids. Thousands of kids. I think it's a kid. Yep. No kids. On a bike. On a bike. Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Dallas. Dallas. Jack? James? Was he? I think he was scratching his shin with his foot. It's like, you get that, like, you know. Uh oh. Oh! Okay, we were in the past. Oh, yeah. That's That's fucked up. Yeah, that's fucking shitty. Is this the girl that went missing? Oh, Oh, shit, it is! Bernard took her. You even feed her, Elsa. Elsa. Elsie. Elsie? Elsie. Are you fucking kidding me? Stay the hell away from me. I'd shoot her. Are <laughs> you chasing like that? Yeah. She doesn't know. I would definitely shoot him now. <laughs> oh, he's having a seizure? Hell yeah, man. I'd be freaking out that I was a host if I learned that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but your program probably wouldn't let you. Yeah. But she doesn't know that he didn't know. You know what I mean? Can you detask your systems? Okay. Oh, oh, man, the milk. That looks like marble. Oh shit, it's the drone host. I hate those things. Eyeballs. Cupcakes. cupcakes. Wait, what? Those were definitely cupcakes. Nice. I'd eat through the eyeballs just to get to them. What? Oh. Would you eat a cupcake to get to an eyeball? Depends who's. Who's cupcake? Uh, Mel Gibson's. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna make this facility here this whole time. I've been shitting in a bucket. I told you there's... 12. 12. This is important. 12. Eric, pulling to me. There's that symbol. Mm. And 12. It's important. It's a Dello symbol. It's where Ford's hiding. <laughs> oh, never mind. That one's dead. Oh, fuck these guys. Go, 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 go. What's that? Cupcakes. What the fuck is that? Uh! Don't threaten it, then it won't hurt you. No! You threatened it! No! Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
Dude, how fuck will it be the next time this happens and it's the man in black? Like, that actor, Ed Harris. That walks in? Yeah. That's kind of what or I'm dancing. Expecting. It's like 50 first dates. Do you have a transcript of everything that's happened? I feel fucking brand new. I am ready to get out there and see the sun. Get some fresh aid. Yeah. Get some. You're good. Boom. Yeah. Oof. It's good to have you back, Jim. Damn. <clears throat> that guy nailed that. Yeah. I've never seen anything besides the Ozarks. You know, all the mirrors are. So they just keep building a new one? Yeah, just a host test. Even your stupid fucking fantasy could have gotten us killed. Ugh! It's left all you. Ugh! You live only as long as the last person who remembers you. You only live as long as the last person who remembers you. Okay. That was deep. New build. Oh, cupcakes. What is it? A brain? What is it? What is this thing? Damn it! What are they building? That's to come forward. I'm building right? fucking forward. I'm not here with you, am I? Huh? What? Is this a memory? I don't know. He keeps, it keeps fucking up. What are those things? Is that the thing, the little things they were making? You think you know death? But you don't. You didn't recognize him sitting across from you this whole time. <laughs> oh, that is the bad, this is bad ass shit ever seen in my life. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Uh, boom! Yeah. Look at more guns. Two, two of them. Mm. You kill them all? I believe he said this was yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What? Was he oh, next to something really explosive? Huh? No, he just drank nitroglycerin. Do you think it's gonna be Ed Harris? Maybe. It makes sense. <clears throat> Same thing over again. <laughs> better, better well, make sure I, I hope it's it, different. Better hear it this time. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? They actually look alike. William. No, Jim, this is the 149th time we brought you back. Jeez. We're getting closer to working out the kinks, slowly but surely. You're on day 35. Only now starting to degrade. Juliet's dead. She killed herself. Why would she? Why would she? The world is better off without you, Jim. Possibly without me. <laughs> Logan! Logan overdosed years ago. Couldn't face reality either. Wife's gone, Juliet's gone. Jesus. Is there a 12? I bet you that's where he was. I don't know. I don't know. Show me a 12. Oh shit. No, at the same door. That's oh, it. Oh shit. I, I, he's thudding around in there, all pissed off. How long has he been in here beating around? Beating off. Oh, around. Holy shit. Why? I'm all the way down now. I can see 
see you all the way to the bottom. Um, Bernard! Bernard! Yes. Robot fight! Uh. Oh. Get the gun back, woman! Uh. <coughs> That's two hits based on real people now. You had me print a control unit for someone else. Another human. And then themselves. Why was one left? That was his favorite one. <laughs> Man, it's a long episode. Yeah. That's yes. He's got a smoking wife, doesn't he? I haven't seen her smoke once. He said we need some men. That is one. Say some kind of weird decryptic forward message. They might not remember. But I know who you are, William. One good deed doesn't change that. You said anything about a good deed? I'm gonna play to the bone. Play to the bone. Bag of the bone. Oh. You still don't understand the real game we're playing here. If you're looking forward, you're looking in the wrong direction. I love Ford code. Why's Ford f fucking us? Everything. I had let him fuck me. He can fuck me. Oh, I want them. All, I, I, I want them all to start talking. Like Everybody. Doctor Who. <laughs> Torchwood. Yeah. The girl, the girl from Raj World? Her daughter. Yep, yep, Or yep. Maybe, maybe we're supposed to think that it's not her. It's Eleven. Hi, Dad. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Dead, dead, dead. It's not over. Wait, it's not over. It's over. It's over. Damn. It's it. Okay, so definitely the daughter then. Are you sure? Yeah. Yep. Could um, not which... be. She's lying. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, I guess with our speculation from last time, it's not super surprising, but no. definitely confirmation. Yeah. I couldn't really think of anybody else being if it was somebody connected to all this stuff. Yeah. It was the main suspected person. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know what she's looking for, which is what I'm curious. I don't know why she started in. Maybe answers as to why the mom killed herself. I mean, obviously that's the, that's what they said. Like he, she no longer talks to him because of the suicide. But maybe, you know, it was a matter of why did she kill herself that we don't know. And it's a journey that she's on. She's going to find the answer in Westworld? Mm -hmm. I mean, he kept going to Westworld. It was one of the yeah. reasons they said that she did kill herself. It was him, right? Well, it was him, but one of his most things is that he just keeps going back to Westworld. Part know? of it could have been not the fact that he was in Westworld with Dolores and all that, but, like, he kept going back 149 times for Delos. Well, sure, yeah. yeah. You know? Probably just thinks that she was just here on vacation. She decided to go to a different park to make sure she didn't run into her dad. Yeah. And then that shit goes crazy. <laughs> the no, circumstance, she winds up back at the park. She had that book thing. Now, I don't know exactly what that book had. or what You know, it was like a map or something. I don't know. Yeah, she's doing something, and it has to do with the secret projects that Dallas is doing. And it made sense, too, I think, that she wouldn't want to do something with the host. She'd want to do something with a real person. That's why she was making sure that one guy was real. Yeah. What if you would have just gotten shot when she shot him last episode? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what if things had gone already bad and she was just like, <laughs> and just yeah. died? She was, he's a host, but he wasn't. He's a real person. Yep. <laughs> you know, to solve this puzzle, uh, I get, it, it feels like to me it would make more sense for the entire park, like each world to have like something you need to solve put together to solve the puzzle, but it seems to be just in Westworld itself. Well, I mean, the, you know, the the maze, which William thought was for him, was never for him at all. It was only for the host. Mm -hmm. uh, the door, I, I don't know. He, he, they said a couple episodes ago that, like, you need to, this ends where it began or something like that. Well, it also could, could be instead of, like, all the parks having this big puzzle thing like it all originated from Westworld mm -hmm. right and Westworld then Delos the bought it 
to fund and it. Added other stuff. And then they added other things. Yeah. And then Ford continued doing his Westworld stuff that he started originally. Yeah. And they just brought in other people to start running new narratives and stuff for these other worlds and stuff that they had. Yeah. So it makes sense that if, if that's how it worked, Ford's story or puzzles or whatever would all take place more so in Westworld, yeah. not all the other parts. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I was extremely uh, upset that we didn't get to see any more Samurai. Yeah, me too. We didn't go back to that at all. No, not at all. Them. We didn't go back to that at all. <coughs> We're going to come back to them. They're going to show up later fighting Dolores wearing like samurai armor. Right. <laughs> I thought it was cool that, or it, oh, I mean, I thought it was interesting that Delos <coughs> died of a disease that he defunded the research for mm, 15, 15 years, years ago. Before. Because in, uh, bef- you know, the time when Ford died, when he was talking to that Bernard, he was talking about like human evolution and the idea that like we've, we don't have disease anymore and that kind of stuff. So I wonder if the disease that he died of, they already have have since cured, you know? Yeah. I don't know. But, I mean, the the idea that this was made to be, you know, for immortality, you know, is an interesting one. You know, they just can't, like, they said, like, they kept, like, bringing in the same consciousness or the same mind or the same yeah. brain. The idea is that a new body. But the, the person is... The body's new. It's a, it's a new body host that they make, and then they take this core, and they put it in, and the core is supposed to have all the memories and thoughts of the Okay, original. but they're, still, they're, they're not taking the resurrected brain. Well, it's a different... Those those little things, yep. those cores that they have, are different than what they put into the host currently, I think. Yeah, so, I think this is red things. Yeah, so they were making these new, different types of cores that had all the memories. Yeah. Not, not, not just reveries, yeah. but memories. And, yeah. Well, yeah, but Bernard, Bernard said it was they're not they're not humans they're not hosts so they're like this, they're they're both it's like yeah a hybrid but, but the idea of living forever like if I died like I wouldn't care if I came back and the android it was perfect I would just you know, unless they took my brain and put it in an android yeah well yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's what I'm saying that, yeah that's what, always the, what you know there was always that argument of what makes it a human like if we took all of you and put you into an AI and it is everything that you were in this it would be a copy just, of you but it's all you know well I was it's saying, all AI now. is it well. That's the thing, is it... Like, is that it, you Is know? it AI, or is it... Yeah, I mean, like, if I died... Yeah. But they took all of... They, they scanned your brain, and everything that was in your brain, they put into a computer into this host. Yeah. And now that's... So the, everything that was you is... But do I wake the, up, or does a copy yeah. of me, of my memories, wake up? It, it's, it's, it's both. Because they're not taking all of you and putting it into there. They're, cop, they're simulating all of you and putting it into there. So that thing is also you, but you are not it. Yeah, it's a copy. So it's a of copy. It. So when you die, you're dead. And you're not gonna give a shit. It's yeah, not like, that's it's what not I'm like saying. You wake up, but you also wake up over there a because copy of you're me. a perfect copy. Yeah. yeah. So is that copy a perfect copy? It's a perfect copy. Would of, it also of be me. you? Yeah. But when you die, you don't get its experiences. It's still in all of your yes. experiences. Yeah. Copy. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, so Delos is dead, and that is a copy of him. I would say, what if they did a? Uh, there was a, there was a thing. I think we talked about this during a podcast too. We talked about like technology and everything, but like they would copy. An individual's memories and everything, mm-hmm. and then one of those two would go into a second body. The other one would stay in the current body. It's mm-hmm. so like, what if like they cut all your stuff, and you have a fifty-fifty chance of being in that body or being in this yeah. body? I but ta- you both would act the same and everything. But one of you was the original, and one of you was the copy. Like a well-loved Christopher Nolan movie. Um, you know? Yeah. But like, what makes that person not a person? Well, I the mean, they might be not- a person, but they wouldn't be me. Uh, so I wouldn't care. You know what I mean? But what if they act perfectly, though? Well, it still wouldn't then be my what experience. Not, what if it's not failing? Yeah, I mean... No, it, it, like I said, it's both. Like, yeah. they are both you, but you are not it. Yeah. The only time it doesn't become you is that when you died and it's experienced things you've never experienced. Yeah. Yeah. So it won't be me. I'd be fucked. I'd no, be dead. It, it, I'd would be dead. Be, it would be the better you that continues living. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it, it'd be the immortality version of you. I mean... It, 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 a lot of it falls in semantics because, like, if it has new experiences that the original Shane never had, it can no longer be called a copy of Shane or Shane because Shane never experienced those things. That's never changed him. Yeah, but now this is Shane. But this if thing he was to experience yeah, those but, things. But it's a different identity now. <coughs> it's not the same Shane. It depends how much his experiences change my identity. I guess. Mm-hmm. It's. I mean. It's Either a, way, it's very, it wouldn't be me. Yeah. Could be dead. But I wouldn't experience anything new. I'd be the, the main thing here is that it's not perfect. Whatever. The main thing is it's not a perfect copy. It's a. This is a shell they're putting this in, and the the it's host failing. body cannot take ev- the complexity of the the copy. Well, the, well, the mind can. Yeah. Well, the core. The core, the core is, is failing. Then they keep, they they keep said the, putting the, into it, and they yeah. keep giving them a new body. The mind rejecting it like an organ. It, it can't. Uh, it can't accept the reality. So I mean, that's the main thing. Like Bernard, 
That's why he had to be created a whole new identity apart from Arnold. He can't just be a copy of Arnold. See, that's why I want to know, what was he wearing during that? Was he wearing the same outfit he had during Ford's thing? Yeah. Because in that, he said, maybe in a few years, we'll figure this whole thing out and they'll crack the code. Mm-hmm. But has it been a few years? Or did this just happen in this two-week period of time where like, he went down there, he checked him out, he said, no, we're done, and he sure. left, leave him alone, and then everything just went to hell? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, it, it's possible. I can't remember exactly what he was wearing. Was he wearing more of a tux outfit? I thought he was wearing more of a tux outfit. But I mean, it could be very close. Yeah. I think it's I'm just, implied. I'm curious. I don't think he had the scruff in that. I'm just curious on the time frame of it because has it been long enough that they've cracked the code? Has it been a couple years that he's been in there I, wreaking havoc? I think that's that's the main question is like, well, they, you know, when it comes to consciousness or not, when it comes to if they've done this or not, I think we're meant to maybe assume one way and then assume the other way on this kind of stuff, and maybe it's the opposite. Maybe the, the, the host what? and Dolores actually aren't truly conscious yet, and this thing has happened. Yeah. You know, like, you know, they keep trying to subvert your expectation, like, you know, uh, now the, the hosts are free, but there's a lot of evidence that they're not free yet. Well, the um, idea, and, and the and idea and that Bernard said that, it just makes me, f- I, th- I think <coughs> it makes me go in the, f- in, in the opposite direction even more. Yeah. Just with storytelling, like, he's so sure of himself. Mm-hmm. And what we know of the first season, I think it's we're going to find out that it's still, he's, he's still in a script. Well, the it's still re- part of Ford's plan. The reason I want to know what's going on with that is, has it been a few years that they've cracked the code and they've fixed and made it where there is a consciousness that works in a host, where it's like a, it's like a person? Sure. Because we have Bernard who stole a core, and then we had Ford last season who was printing a body. <laughs> who could be a real person Mm -hmm. that they've put into a consciousness. Yeah. There could be someone. Or does it only last like 35 days? And if so, was it like Ford or something like that where they made it as if it was really him and they just put him in and like, well, if the time frame should work, this will work long enough until I die. Or is it someone else entirely? Is it Elsie? Could Elsie be fake? I don't know. I mean, it's interesting that Elsie was put right outside the door of that facility that so many things have happened at. Yeah. Almost as if they knew that, well, if Bernard comes back here, he might be hurt. We need someone that can fix him. You know? Well, I mean, he was hurt, and they had uh, Clementine took him there. Yeah. Like, she yeah. dropped him off there for a reason. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, like, what... but, but Bernard would have been the one that put her there in the first place, right? Yeah. So, but like, was... is this part of a, like, did Ford know this kind of stuff was going to happen? And he's like... In this point of the story that I'm writing, if Bernard is hurt, I'm gonna need someone that can fix him. So go get Elsie, put her here. Because other than that, what purpose does she serve there? Other than making sure Bernard is where he needs to be. Uh, it, also, it also just kept her out of the way. Sure. You know? Yeah. Having Bernard go to that location yeah. itself maybe wasn't important, but keeping her out of the way. I mean, you can keep her out of the way at any location. I mean, you put her in a place that's very important, like where Dallas is. And we keep getting, you know, these these code, these scripted code things of Ford in the other uh, hosts, you know, like with this time with uh, Lawrence's daughter. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. Maybe that that thing that was printed and they had there could be a Ford thing, or I, I can't. I, I don't know. They didn't address or deny, but didn't address the idea that maybe Bernard had copied over Abernathy's. Material, yeah, which and didn't touch on it at all. Didn't yeah, touch on so. it at all. I mean, it didn't deny it, but it makes it makes me feel like when they were talking about it, would have been an opportunity where he could be like, he could have given like a look or something, but he didn't give anything. Yeah, and with all the the talks of his memories being like, you don't know what's ahead, behind, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like him being there with Elsie, <coughs> we could just be seeing a memory of him being with Elsie, and not like it's not like a real time kind of thing at all. Yeah. Well, like when we see the man in black, like we're like, okay, this is what he d- he's doing and what's happening. When we see Bernard, like sometimes, like Elsie was doing something. He's like, he was like moving around. I'm like, well, he, at one point is he's he moving in his memory. Yeah, at one point he said he's. Like, I'm not really there with you, am I? Mm-hmm. So, I, but I, then I, it felt like he was. Yeah. But. So like, I don't know if he's like there. If it's, if he's just seen things that have happened. If we're not actually seeing things unfold, we're just seeing his memory and he's confused. Yeah, I, I think he's just slipping in and out of his memories. You know, it's it, it's kind of similar to like. Uh, it's almost kind of similar to people experience deja vu. Yeah. And it's like, oh, man, I've been here before. Oh, this happened exactly. Oh, me thinking about this happening exactly. Happened exactly like it, you know? Yeah. But it's just a misfire in your brain. It might be a similar thing with, with Bernard. So the, the thing with that, though, is, like, 
as opposed to like the men in black who we're seeing that here's what he did in those two weeks time are we seeing a self-aware memory it's not a it's not here's what bernard did it's here's what he's remembering and it's all screwy you know what i mean you mean like it's like not actually what happened like we're not actually seeing what bernard did did mm-hmm. we're seeing what he's trying to remember that he did i would say you that we saw what he did just because, why would, yeah, I don't know. There's just the weird moments of him, like, coming in and out of it and seeing sure. himself and, like, yeah. like, phasing back and forth. And then, like, Shane said, the t- whenever she was going to the door, he's like, Elsie, stop. He's like, I'm not really here, am I? My mm-hmm. memories are all over the place. And, like, he was, was moving, and she just kept doing what she did, and it kind of went to, like, a weird, like, far away kind of, like, you felt further away from her and stuff. Yeah. I felt like the flashbacks, he was definitely doing all that stuff. Well, I mean, it, it could just be a matter of just, like, you know, he gets from the one's mindset or the other, you know, the 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 flashback thing, he did like what we saw there, he didn't have any problems. It was only having the problems during this time, you know? Yeah. So like I would imagine that those things are things that did happen, but he yeah. had the same demeanor that, you know, uh whenever they killed the good girl. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying yeah. like him telling them to kill everybody didn't happen or him going in and saving her from Delos didn't happen. But I'm saying like are we seeing a self aware memory? rather than just watching straight what happened. Like, are we going to have more more of Bernard confused oh. in that time? And it's going to be more scattered, rather than just seeing, like, when we go to Ed Harris, it's just, here's what Ed Harris is doing, slash did, between that two-week period of time. Mm-hmm. I feel like the last one was a self-aware memory. So rather than actually the audience being transported to however long ago when it's happening, we're watching it, you think that it's more of like a construction in his mind of what happened yeah like we're seeing more of like what bernard's yeah. seen at the beach th- yeah th- and that's why I, thought I guess the that's last the same one, thing i felt like the last one for sure was a self-aware memory yeah i would say so i guess it's similar it's just i mean he's slowly starting to remember things yeah that's how i get it and he's pc but he doesn't understand it yet so he's trying to piece it together like i can think of shit from 12 years ago i'm like oh, i remember this but i my memory like if i if i could like <laughs> Sketch out my memory of it. It wouldn't match what actually happened. Yeah, exactly. I get you. That, that's kind of what I'm Probably saying. Like, is it from 12 years ago? Is it like you know he's he's remembering this, but he's like, is this really what I'm? What happened? Is there yeah. something different that happened here? Like, could that not even be Elsie? Yeah. But like, he's thinking in his memory it was sure. Elsie, but maybe it's someone else entirely. Like you know the idea of like I can go back to a you know a Krista Schott's garage where we had the first like boy girl party, you know from elementary school, and I don't remember. Did it, like, you know, it was in a garage. Did it have any tools in there? Like, if I try to remember it right now, would I imagine, like, a shovel? Would I yeah. on, on the wall? Like, but what really happened, like, it might not be a shovel in there. Or, like, what would you fill in, maybe, yeah. if you don't remember fully? Sure. So, like, is there anything he's filling in? And, it, and we're supposed to feel like it's a self-aware memory yeah. of what he's doing. The only thing I would say that it might not be something like that is because it's more of a digital file that he can probably remember a lot better than we can. Like, if I, you know, if I'm a computer and I take a screenshot, my screenshot will be perfect. But what if it's not, it's not that he's not remembering perfectly, it's that two memories in the same place are yeah. becoming one memory. It could be something like that. You know what I mean? I would need probably like more like evidence or something like that to be able to believe it, but it's a possibility. Hmm. But I mean, I, I think it's just, you know, <coughs> shit's already so damn confusing. They're just like, hey, this is what happened. Here's our number in it. <laughs> you know? I just think that like... With the first season, we had the whole like time thing that mm-hmm. was like, oh man, we were, oh now we get it. Sure. And with this one, I feel like there's not quite that time thing, but Bernard is like that kind of weird thing. And we talk yeah. so much about his him like not being sure where he is and like him jumping back and forth. Yeah. But they haven't done it too much. I just wonder if there's something more within his memories because they keep talking about his memories. Yeah. That there's something there that's going to be tricking us. Yeah, I mean, I I think they've just shifted it rather than like you know, you think you know what's going on. But then suddenly you don't re- like you realize that this is happening at different times. I think when this one they're like they're straight up telling you at different times this is happening, but you don't know what's going on, which is the like Ford plan. Like was this is this scripted or is it not? You know. Yeah. So but the deception is a different kind of deception. Is what you're I, saying. I would say so, but I mean we're only a couple episodes into the season, so we'll see. I mean it plays with time a little bit. I mean, just yeah, but I don't. I think it necessarily like is purposely trying to confuse where we are. N- yeah, I don't you know, think so. I, like I the mean, whole Dolores and William and Man in Black thing. Like, it seems like that's happening the same day. You know, mm-hmm. like it's it's purposely screwing with us. I don't think that's, that's happened yet, unless we just are noticing it. 
but I can't imagine with what's happened so far. I feel like I, I'm pretty rooted in where we are, uh, or when we are, but I don't know why we are. That scene where uh, the man in black uh, just sh- fucking beats, shoots all those guys, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was amazing. I love how he grabbed, about the, death. he grabbed the one guy, used him for like a shield. He was there um, in the face for five minutes. He was sitting across the table from me this whole time. I love that. That's so good. I want to watch it again. We're up here. You're down there. <laughs> I don't want to watch The Rock. I love The Rock. The Rock's great. Man, those Chinese guys making railroads with people? That's just structurally unsound. Yeah, Gosh. yeah. I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. I don't know why they're doing it. I, it, it, I feel this It's got to be they're terrible. Hosts. They're using hosts, so like... I mean, I assume they're not people or else yeah. Ed would have done something. William. I feel like this terrible Shanghai Noon crossover. Well, don't you think, like, <laughs> I mean? whenever Westworld is, is uh, acting, like, properly, whenever things is going the way that they're supposed to, mm-hmm. do you think the Chinese just make a railroad, like, in a big circle? And, they, and then, like, once they get to the railroad, they just start taking it apart, you know? Like, and that's their loop. What a terrible life. Well, maybe well, the most pe- people of reset their person. I mean, people's days reset, so maybe... When they just they- go in, take away all their work. Yeah. What they would do... <laughs> what they would need to do is make that turn right and have it be far enough away and then these people like these hosts over here are like man this railroad's in the wrong spot we gotta fix it we gotta tear it all up and these yeah. people over here like, alright guys we gotta so build have, this railroad here we go you have one set of Chinese that are fixing it and one or building it and one set of Chinese all the way over here that are tearing it apart yeah. and then it's constantly going it's like North and South line. Korea <laughs> what do we do with these parts just leave them here someone yeah. to come pick them up and they just keep going around and like well where do we get our, our parts from it's like oh they'll be up ahead they already laid them out for yeah. us you know goes over like a two mile like circumference <laughs> yeah so the ghost nation are not killing humans no they're not they kill hosts they say mm-hmm. they're not killing humans so like the idea that they are some kind of firewall is what you were talking about yeah before. well someone had mentioned about could the ho- or could the I forget where I saw it. Discord, maybe, or maybe it was uh, That's why YouTube. That went, yeah. or, I don't know. But someone had said something about what if, uh, what if the Ghost Nation are trying to protect the humans? And that's why and, they went size more. And that's why they went size more, and we're going to let the other ones go because okay. they're just trying to collect them. And then they here they seem to let them go. Yeah. So I don't. It got to be a programming thing of sure. somehow or something like that. A stubs. What do you say? You, you, you're only alive as long as the last person remembers you. Yeah, something like that. It's like you're alive as long as the last person. You only live as long as the last person, yeah. Yeah. Thank God we got YouTube. What'd you think about Lawrence remembering William talking about his daughter? Because that came from a past. I wrote that down. You told me you had a daughter. He's like, did I? He's like, yeah, at some point. I don't know. You're hard to open up. Yeah. But that would have been not this time, unless they talked about it when we weren't weren't on screen or something, but. But yeah, remembering past like... lives is what happened with Dolores and with Abernathy. Yeah. So. But if I was William and I. You know, was in this world so many times in so many different narratives, I'd be thinking, well, shit, when the hell did I tell him? You know what I mean? <laughs> Some yeah. shit I told him. Yeah, I, I was thinking about whenever they had uh, Delos and, like, his memory thing, he was stuttering and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Uh, before, I was like, man, what if he's, like, a host? And he started doing the stuttering thing, and, like, he's so stupid, just some guy, where he has a disease, you're being mean, Aaron. <laughs> and then he was a host, and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> but yeah. whatever he said about, like, it's been seven years, I'm like, man, I didn't expect him to have seven years the way they were acting from his retirement. I thought he would have been gone mm-hmm. sooner, and now his wife's gone and stuff. Yeah, it just seemed yeah. weird. That actor nailed um, the. This is ironic, but I'm, I don't know what to say. Uh, nailed the, 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 the memory the, loss. N- n- nailed the, 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 the yeah the ability the, of not being able to the stuttering figure and out stuff. what word that you want to say, or you you know what you want to say, but your you brain. Know who, you know who nailed that? I kid on Billy Madison nailed that. Yeah, <laughs> but like whenever he was saying, uh, "I just want to go get some fresh aid." And then, like, he was like, no, fr- air. air, fresh air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He would just say the wrong word and mean something else. And- yeah. I, mean, I still think that the Abernathy actor is still, still the best malfunctioning robot yeah. actor. <clears throat> this guy did very well. well this yeah. is supposed to be like a malfunctioning person. Human, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he was like a person. Yeah. Abernathy was like the robot who was freaky looking. They had 149 of the, those guys. They did it 149 times. Mm-hmm. Or lemonade, please. Which, I mean, 149 times, they said that the plateau gets to about like 30 days or so, or at least this last one was 35 days. Yeah, as you said that. But then how long in between each time did they like redo the cores or something? Yeah, I, I mean, know. it's been 30 some years, so. See, I thought like whenever he came out of that, at one point he was going to be getting emotional. Mm-hmm. He didn't really look emotional, he just looked kind of like upset. Yeah. And he was like, terminate. I go, oh, no. I was, yeah. Damn it, I was right. 
feel like this episode was the most uh, I've seen in the in the show that William and the Man in Black, like in this scene where he's there with Delos, uh, felt like they, the they, same they felt like the same person. Like the mannerisms almost seem the same. Which it's been, you know, starkly different. I feel like in the first episode, first season. I don't think, yeah, first season they for sure. Talk. Like if they talk together about like, how are you doing this? Well, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Okay, well let's try to blend together our. You know what I wonder? The way these shows are made, I wonder if him and that other actor ever even met. <laughs> I know they have. I've seen them in pictures together. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a common thing in shows like this, uh, I, I don't know if it's happened in this one, but I've seen before where. One actor is supposed to be imitating another actor. They'll actually have both actors on set, and one will do the scene, and then the actor supposed to be in the shot will come in and just try to replicate it. Uh, I don't feel like that happened here, but it's a, it's a thing that they've done before. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Um, Logan has overdosed. Yeah. And so he's dead in the... Because uh, we kept thinking, like, are we going to ever see Logan in, the, in this timeline? But unless he's not lying... In the, not in the future. I, think, I, I don't imagine he would have a reason to lie there, so... He said about your answer is not forward but back. It's like you need to look mm -hmm. back. Yeah. So I was just trying to think. I think like, it's similar to like, you know, uh, this you know this ends where it began, that kind of thing. It's about your past mistakes. Yeah. You know, like that's kind of what, I mean, William was kind of alluding to that whenever he's like, you know, people here think that they get away with everything, you know, let's... And that they're they're most free when they're in Westworld. It's like your past sins, your past mistakes, and it's kind of similar to Dolores too, where it's like the reckoning is coming. You know, you thought that you. So I don't know. Maybe there's some there's something about looking back upon. Yeah, mistakes. I'm just wondering if it has to do with like Jim Delos, if it has to do with Dolores, if yeah. it has to do with his daughter. Like what what does he need to look back on to get the answer that he needs I mean, to find? You know, all of the hosts seem to be striving for this valley beyond Glory. or. or glory mm -hmm. but William when he talks about it called it his biggest mistake yeah. so he needs to go back to go forward yeah to go back yeah but that's where he's going so why would he tell him not to look forward to look back mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah, yeah, if he's already going to the right answer why would you be like don't look forward look back he's on his horse just riding this way yeah just fucking with him yeah I don't know. that's all I got okay well we're gonna check out some Q&A's you guys can go when you're watching Westwood to Twitter at Blind Wave Prod, hashtag Westworld Q and A. Ask some questions. We'll try to answer, and we'll have some fun. Big Nerd says, "How do I become as badass as Ed Harris?" And also, it seems like some timeline fuckery has begun. Um, um, he's born with it. What do you guys think? He's bald. You just gotta have that jaw and shave your head. Is that what you gotta do? Yeah. No. You have to be. Blessed. If he didn't have that jaw and he just bald. He'd he had to be struck by lightning twice. <laughs> yeah, hell, of a, hell of a jaw. Hell of a jaw. Hell of a jaw. Big Nerd says, What do you guys think is up with the stub scene? You live only as long as the last person who remembers you. I have no idea. <clears throat> no, but I like that. Said that. And I agree with it. You agree with it? We just know that stub got captured, and now he seems two weeks later he's on the beach with Dallas. It's a Ford thing. Like, Ford's dead, but he will live for a long time because everyone remember the shit he pulled here. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like that fucking Ford. I mean, it's a, you know. This is a, if this is the show talking about immortality when it comes to surviving after death, then the flip side of an if afterlife is that you can all, you know you live in the memories of those that loved you. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You know, so it's kind of similar. I just don't know what the fuck it was of me coming from a ghost nation, dude. Ghost nation. Yep. Red French Moon says, "Wow, just an amazing episode." I know Shane. Sorry, no samurai, but still a damn good episode. Yeah, it was a great episode. Uh, Elsie's yeah. back, which is cool as well. Who's most likely to team up? Elsie, Dolores, Maeve, and William's daughter. Out of those people, if they're most likely to team up, I don't know. I think everyone, LC. story narratively, it's they're, they're in a good position to by themselves. They got their own what quests. Was William's daughter's name Grace. Did they ever say it in season one? I think. Oh. And I think season two. I don't remember it in this yeah, season, but it's Grace. I, it could have happened last episode. The last, yeah, could have happened during the the Delos retirement party. Everyone say Grace. Grace. That's a good point, too. Hmm. Uh, Red French Moon said, Could Bernard be a human host made by Ford before Delos? So like what they did with Delos, could Bernard be like... Yeah, a, he perfected it using Bernard. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to write it down, but he says that... Elsie said the damage looks like it came from a bullet in his head, but it seems similar to Delos' host as, too, as well. Could have been a test subject. I thought that was a weird thing. I mean, like, it looks like he had a bullet... If I didn't know better, I'd say you, had, you shot your, 
shot yourself in the head or got shot in the head or a bullet to the head or something like that. I mean, Bernard believes he's human, which is one of the problems with the 35 days. Like, eventually he just can't accept that reality. So Bernard does accept that reality. He's just not a copy of somebody yeah, else. He, yeah, I mean, even though he is an Arnold. It's a new identity. It's but it's a new identity. Yes. It's not the same thing. So maybe it's like a uh, Genesis thing or like a, you know, uh, like an alpha <laughs> version. Maybe. Uh, and they were trying to perfect it, actually copy people versus just creating human minds. Yeah. It is an interesting comment, though, of it being like, looks like you were shot in the head. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Red French Moon. Steve. Prosopagnosia was one of the symptoms Bernard has from what was said in the premiere. We latched onto time slippage, and I think that's meant to throw us off. That might not be Elsie. I hope she is, but you can't trust anybody. I think Bernard will be tricked into killing all hosts by Dolores, the hosts that haven't shown signs of consciousness, Teddy included, since she tested him last episode and he still followed his program. Mm -hmm. That's from Steve. Prosopagnosia? Yeah. See, the one thing I was thinking about with, with Elsie, like as soon as she looked there and saw that Bernard was a host and she was like, oh my God, but you rotate. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like yeah. you have a backstory. One of the first things I would think of was like, holy shit, am I a host? <laughs> Because I'd be like, uh, we were colleagues. I'd check my shit real quick, you know? Yeah. What would you check? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does. I don't think she... Yeah, but for all she knows, Bernard knows. You know what I mean? That she, you know, that Bernard knows he's a, a, a host. You know what I mean? Also, if, well, you're, if you're just She a might host. just think that you had a backstory to fool me. But she doesn't know that he was being fooled. If you're also a host just programmed... As like just a person, not like you are this. You you are this real person. Uh, you could have programming to not think of that, not look into yourself as a host. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you know, I don't see anything. Yeah, could be along those lines. Yeah, but I don't know. I think it's weird for her to be there. I think with his memory being all screwy, I think there could be something with Elsie. Just he also had that whole comment about like you, know, you. What is it? I'm not really here. Or you're not really here. Or, I'm not with you. Yeah, yeah. Like that like I just I, there's something there. I don't know what it is. Weird. It could be. Another Steve, a different Steve, is the control unit Bernard picked up Ford for the purpose of being shot in a prototype body. Uh, well, new Steve, I don't know. It could be. Is it something that they're trying to smuggle out, or is it something that they combined with the Ford host I mean, print that they would It doing? seems like that is a location in which they make human minds. Yeah. Everywhere else they make just the host <clears throat> stuff. So there's something special about the red versus the white. Yeah, and then Ford had that special place last season where he had a printer, yeah. which was odd for him to have a printer down there because so, not everywhere had printers like that. But right? maybe he, Ford needed a red cupcake <clears throat> versus the white cupcake, and he had it made there. What? The red... They're not cupcakes. <laughs> I know, those are <laughs> cupcakes, but the red ones seem to be the human ones, the white ones are the host ones. They had white cupcakes? Yeah, like the thing that they pulled out of the... Of the mine, oh, like okay. they're very, they see, look very similar. Okay. But one's white, one's red. Yeah, I guess I saw the white ones. I didn't think cupcakes at all. No, they didn't look like cupcakes at all. Yeah, well. The uh, that would have been back <laughs> whenever uh, Loki, Floki, yep, whatever his name is. Like yeah. they, but the, the, the programming the, yeah, the, pulled one out and yeah. saw Dolores come and shoot him. Right, yeah, the mine core things. I, I think that I, I think I guess I'm, I could be wrong, but I think that's supposed to be the same thing. <laughs> But uh, functionally, one, but one is for humans yeah, and so stuff. They, may, they, they paint them red so people don't mix them up. I guess. Yeah, so I think that, that maybe that uh, this place is the only th place you can make those. Yeah. So Ford needed one. Yeah. Well, that's all that we had for Q&A. All of Westworld Q&As? We do not have too many. Well, we don't have to give them a lot of time, do we? we give them, yeah, as much as Flash. <laughs> okay, so, guys. <coughs> you guys, they'll finish. I'm coughing. Guys, make sure if you want to enter into Q&As next week, you do hashtag Westworld Q&A and tag us at Prod. We will be doing questions at the end of every episode. But <laughs> I want to spit it out. Before we end this episode, we need a poll. Yeah. Okay, guys. The poll for this week will be Bernard. Is he truly free from Ford's narrative? Is he doing? Is he operating on his own free will now, or is he uh, still yeah. under control? I mean, it's obvious. Like when he was killing those people there, that he was under control. Yeah. But here he seems to be having some seems to be having some kind of free will where he's working yeah. stuff out, or is he just following a path? So yes, free will, or no, he's still uh, on Ford's narrative or following a predetermined path. 
Yeah. Determinism or free will? The tricky thing of that is that if if he is being programmed to do whatever, is it Ford who has him doing what he's doing, or could it be someone else? I think it would be, interest, it'd be more interesting if it was Ford still. Yeah. yeah. I want to say he's being controlled on a level by Ford's narrative. Like yeah. Ford's great plan. Deterministic? Yes. Uh, yeah, I would say yes. He is still being controlled much like everybody else. He believes he's free. Yeah. I'll, I'll say that he is free and his memories are screwing with him. How about that? Why? Why? Not, not, to, so he's free. Yeah, he's free. He's okay. free? He's just confused. Not here I think you're, con- you're I think you're confused. You're here because you're not free. What? Mr. Smith. Who? Agent Smith. What? Matrix. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Westworld with us. Uh, to check out the poll and the full length and other stuff, you can go to patreon.com slash blindwave. Or we'll just come back here next week and you guys can see the next episode on YouTube. You. ASAP. Tool. And do uh, other stuff too. Twitter.